So this one has a whole number in the denominator. And the whole number is right there. It's a 1. And we love whole numbers, but sometimes because they're not a fraction, we think, well, something different is going to happen. Um, so, so we have to keep that in mind. All right, so looking at the denominators, we have an x plus 3 here and the x plus 3 here. But on the 1, it's really just over 1 if you want to, if you want to make it a 1. If you want it to be a fraction, you can always make a whole number a fraction by putting it over 1. So the LCD is going to be x plus 3. That's the LCD. So I'm going to recopy the problem. x over x plus 3 over 1 plus 1 over x plus 3. And then everybody gets multiplied by the LCD, which is x plus 3. All right, so now we multiply by the LCD, so all the little denominators will cancel. The x plus 3 is gone in the, in, up there, and in the numerator we just have x now. And then over here, we're going to have 1 times x plus 3. And then on the other part, those x plus 3s are going to cancel, so we'll have plus 1. And that 1 is right there. So that 1 is that one right right there okay all right so it's simplified pretty nicely now we just have x over i am gonna um distribute the one so x plus three you could have just written x plus three to begin with because one times x plus three is going to be x plus three but we have to know that so that we can simplify the denominator x over x plus four now, very good. Um, I'll ask a trick question. Can I cancel the two x's? The answer is no, because x is a factor in the numerator, but it's not a factor in the denominator. So we're done. Okay?